Hey everybody, Anne here, and God, it has just been so cold in these parts lately. It's been like 10, 15 below, crazy, and it's been snowing, so I haven't been able to do much on the van, but let's take a little look. We had more snow. I've been kind of dusting things off, and you know what? I cannot even get into this, this van at all right now. It's just too, oh my God. It is totally frozen. I mean, I could probably melt the ice, but I'm so, so tired of all this snow. Granted, this is the only snow we've gotten all year, but I mean, we had a little bit before. I love, love, love the snow. Oh my God, no, I don't. I'm like, I can't even get into my truck. My big red truck. My neighbors are elderly, so I'm trying to shovel because the landlord's too cheap to. Yeah, here's my here's my big red truck. I can't get into it. There's no way. I mean, it's just totally frozen shut. So I don't know, guys. I wanted to get in and, and at least rip the ceiling out today, was it? I can't even talk. My my face is frozen. Oh, good lord. All right. Yeah, so that was earlier this morning. I'm thinking it was about, oh, seven or eight o'clock in the morning. I get up pretty early. I'd already been up for about an hour or so, and I was just waiting for the sun to come up to see how cold it was going to be. I didn't want to believe the weather reports, but yeah, it was freezing dang cold. So I decided I'd come back in and play around with my garden and my worm bin. So I got started on the worm bin. Last night, I had put in a half of a butternut squash that had been eaten. I put it skin side down, and I wanted to see what had happened or if they had done any work on it today. So I had a look. The little white stuff off to the side is just plain old oats. I had put some oats in there too. Oh, and you can see some little green um, things, some cuttings that I had taken off of uh, some pepper plants. Put it down there. The, the worms have not touched it in like three days. So let's have a look at the worm bin. How this is doing. Um, it's kind of broken down a little bit. Oh yeah, they're eating the hell out of it. If you can see on the back of this butternut squash skin is a whole bunch of worm cocoons. If you can see them, they're in the middle, little brown round thingies. And off to the left hand side, there's like one, two, three, three or four over there. And off to the right, there's several more. So those are all going to hatch into brand new baby wormies. So the worm bin is going pretty good. Let's see what's happening with my garden. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. The kohlrabi. The kohlrabi is sprouting. It's the big, the, the, those big ball thingies. They're sprouting. Oh, holy shit. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I'm going to have to call my friend and let him know that my kohlrabi is going to grow. Yeah. And yes, the kohlrabi does look like a big, huge ball. I got the seeds from a friend and he's growing them in his hydroponic garden and he says come on you got to try these. And I'm like no you can't grow these in water and he gave me the seeds for the like the giant ones okay and they do get absolutely huge. They are not a root vegetable. The big ball is not a root. The actual fruit is the stem. The stem just gets really big really engorged. From Wikipedia kohlrabi is from the German word for cabbage turnip. It's in the same family as broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, savoy cabbage. It can be eaten raw or it can be thrown into dishes. I've seen recipes for it like Indian dishes that's combined with, oh I don't know, I can't remember, potatoes and various other cut vegetables. I've heard that they taste kind of like apples raw if you eat them raw and you can use the greens like you would cook collard greens or mustard greens. So I figure, you know what, if Martha Stewart likes this vegetable, so do I. Okay, by now it is like three o'clock in the afternoon and it's sunny outside. And I'm like, oh, it's still negative six, freezing cold. But I wanted to figure out a way to get those seeds 
out of that van. So, I mean, that is the first thing that I need to do, really. So I called around to some salvage yards and whatnot, and one of them said, yeah, bring them on by. You can donate them. I hopped in the van, and guess what? It started. Yes, I was able to get in. The sun had been shining on the door all day. So although it was freezing cold outside, I was able to get in. It started right up. I drove it right over to the salvage yard, and I had already taken the seats out. I'd flipped the levers and shoved them out of their little support brackets. So I went over there, dropped them off, and came back home, and this is what it looks like now. Says it's too cold to get out here and do stuff on this van. It's like 20 below, and I got my seats out. Yes, I got my seats out. They are out. Oh my goodness. Look at all this room. Look at all the freaking room. Look at all the junk on the floor. So now what I got to do is get these big old bolts out. And this is going to be a bitch because look at they're rusted. Oh my God. And I cannot wait to see what is underneath of this carpeting because I don't know. I don't feel so hot. And then I got to get these big old things out too. But I got them all out. I got them all out by myself. Took them to a salvage yard. They said, sure, just drop them off. The guy that was helping me, he was like, oh, these are health. These are so heavy. And I'm like, nah, they're not that heavy. <laughs> so here we go. Now it's time. Now it's time I can start getting in here and pulling shit out. I'm so happy. So I think the next part is going to be tearing out the roof and then the floor. Or maybe the floor, then the roof. I don't know. I've got to do the sides too. I've got to take the sides out. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah? Did I say it right? <laughs> all right. Y'all have a good one.